To enable NIC teaming on Windows Server 2019, start from the Server Manager and click on Configure this local server. On this screen I can see that I've got four Ethernet devices, Ethernet 0 through 3, and that NIC teaming is currently disabled. If I click that disabled link next to NIC teaming, it'll open up the NIC teaming console. And from here I can again see that I've got four Ethernet devices. And if I head to Network Connections, I'll confirm that that's the only interfaces I have on this machine. So I'm definitely only seeing four Ethernet devices, and I can confirm that they're currently connected at one gigabit per second each. So let's head back to the NIC teaming console and create a new team. To do that, head to Tasks next to Teams and choose New Team. Start by giving your team a name and selecting the interfaces that you want to become a member of this team. I'll select all four of mine, and then expand out additional properties. I'll be using switch independent mode, as this will work on my virtual machine. However, if you've got a physical machine connecting directly to a switch, and you can configure LACP, you might want to consider changing your teaming mode to that. And also, as I'm on a virtual machine, I can't have my load balancing mode set to dynamic, but setting it to address hash will work for me. So I don't want to specify any standby adapters as I want all adapters to be active. And I'll go ahead and click OK. You'll note that initially only one interface comes up as active and the rest show as faulted. However, if you give it a moment, they'll all come up as active. All right, so we can now see all four of our Ethernet interfaces have come up as active. And if I head back to Network Connections, I can now see that I've got a fifth network interface, which has the same name as what I gave my teamed NIC. If I look at the status of this new interface, I can see that it's connected at a speed of four gigabits per second. I'll move this over to the side and show what happens when I disable a member interface. So on screen, I can see the adapters and interfaces section of the NIC teaming console, and I can see the speed of my aggregated link. If I go ahead and disable one of these interfaces, we can see that it comes up as faulted in the NIC teaming interface and that our connected speed for the interface is turned down to 3 gigabits per second. I can disable another interface and the connected speed drops to 2 gigabits per second. So let's go ahead and turn those back on and see what it looks like when they come back online. It takes about another 30 seconds for them to come online after being re-enabled but after a short wait, you'll see that all links have come up as active and our aggregated links connection speed has gone back up to four gigabits per second. So that's been enabling NIC teaming in Windows Server 2019. Thank you for watching.